Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. In this video I'm going to show you the current meta and I'm also going to reveal such a big thing that everyone should know in my opinion. But before we start, wait I have to look where it is, alright. So when you are playing arena, let's say you're playing arena but you're bored about arena and you don't want to play it at all, then do this. I'm going to cover two things. First of all, I'm going to cover um, a loot path which you can use in tournaments, in arena, in whatever. And then I'm going to show you how you can abuse it to actually make money and stuff. And I know this will sound crazy, but believe me, this video will change your whole damn Fortnite competitive career. I'm telling you. So the first place you want to go to is this house, and it's like located on the left of the sanctuary, on the right of this little. Uh, little water pool and basically this house has I think four chests and basically you just want to loot these chests as you can see there's a right here a special chest which is kind of so uh, yeah like there's a chest up there and there's a chest right here and there's a chest under here and then there's also another chest which also spawned I think all chests spawn in battle in battle lab is right here under the staircase there is also a um, a chest. Okay, so the next thing you have right here is some consumables and wait, this is the only place for consumables. You can take them, blah blah blah. Uh, and basically, what you want to do next is you want to pickaxe these rocks and the rocks right here. So then you have a lot of uh, brick, and then you also have these pallets near the house, which gi give you a lot of materials, and also these uh, these things, which you can use for materials. Um, if you want to hide in those um, snowmans, you can, but I don't think it's optimal. A swin. Is that a swin? I don't know what it's called in English. Anyway, um, once you've done this, um, you must look around, which you can also already do when you're dropping, because the ch llama being surrounded around here is so big, it's unreal. I have footage, but I think I'm going to edit it in the video, but I found like three times a llama around here, two times on the same spot, and then two times on the back of the house. Um, so once you've looted that house, you want to go here, and as you can see, there's another special chest right here. And then right here, when you're in front of Coney Crossroads, you will see this box, which you can get chuck splashes and... Um, guzzle juice is from so now we have chuck splashes you can loot around here a nice little crow with a purple striker pump you can loot this little place and then you can loot all around here and then now now it's actually only getting more interested and more interested if you're lucky and the zone is around here then what you want to do is you want to keep walking and you want to go a little bit further yeah you want to yeah, you want to go here. Like right here, there are two Spider-Man thingies, which means that you can also use this drop spot for duos. So normally, I don't know, they spawn in Battle Lab. I don't think so. Yeah, they don't. But there are two Spider-Mans right here. And basically, if you want to use this as a duo spot, I r highly recommend your duo dropping... What the fuck? What the fuck? I recommend your duo dropping right here on the factory. There are a lot of chests here and also a lot of metal. And then you guys can come both right here. Now it gets even more interesting because, and this is about the second topic in this video. Uh, if you want to do the thing I'm going to explain. You want to go sit in... Wait, we have to go a little bit. near yeah it's right there there are so many bushes right there and basically what you want to do you want to go sit in that and let's say you didn't found find on this way no I can't speak English anymore if you didn't find any shields on your loot path you can still go here which are oh I was thinking like bro uh, right here and right here there are a lot of chuck barrels so at least you have some shield and if you want to do the strategy that I'm going to explain as the second topic you want to go sit in this bush and basically don't move at all just wait for some placements to kick in but I'll explain that in the second topic so you want to go sit in one of these bushes I mean if I 
I'm walking out of Coney Crossroads and I see these bushes, it's not like I'm going to go like, ooh, is there someone in here? Is there someone in here? No, I'm just going to leave the bushes. Therefore, this strategy is so, so OP. So for the second part of this video and for the biggest strategy of the year, 2022, by the way, happy new year, everybody. Uh, but so for this strategy, you will need a browser. Most of you will use Google Chrome, so use Google Chrome and type in repeat GG or repeat GG. This w uh, website will pop up and basically what you want to do is you want to go on the link and then you will see something like this. Ooh, my earnings went up by fucking four cents. I'm so proud of myself. Um, so basically this website, um, it won't give you that much money, but it's the beginning of your career. Um, so basically once you are here it will say login or uh, sign in what you want to do is you want to sign in and you want to connect your epic account now you can't connect your epic account by just giving your um your name your epic name so what you want to do is you want to go to the epic games launcher in your browser click on the first link and make sure you're logged in of course otherwise you can't really do it so once you're in the online website of Epic Games, you want to wait a minute until this yeah, this pops up. You want to go to accounts right here. And then you see an amount of letters and numbers and you want to basically just copy paste it. I want to paste it in the, bo uh, in the bar you will see. So once you have set up your repeat account, there are two different things you want to know. Now actually four, but two biggest important. If you want to go for Fortnite, you can also do this for League of Legends and stuff. But if you want to go with Fortnite, uh, when you go to the tournaments, you see a lot of tournaments right here. Now, the funny part is, you can sign up for all these tournaments, and every single time you play an arena game, it will count for all the tournaments. So the better you um, play in a certain... Um, in a certain arena game so if, let's say I have an arena game and I play second and I have four kills that will count as points for all these tournaments all of these so you can literally just participate on one two three four five six seven eight nine ten let's say 20 tournaments while literally doing what you're already doing right now but why is sitting in a bush so OP then? Well, if you look at most of the tournament details, if you want to go here and we click on scoring, then you see that there are a lot of points for literally placing top 3, 5, 10, 6, 12, and 25. That's 22 and 12, and you only get one for a kill. If you are a person that is so good at WKing and literally gets like 20 or 15 kills per game, fine, don't use my strategy, just go whatever you want to go with. Um, but yeah, for people who aren't that good in ar in arena and only get like four to ten kills, I shouldn't recommend doing it because it won't make a big difference. Um, so yeah, basically that's the biggest part of repeat.gg. By uh, joining a tournament, you basically just want to click on the tournament and you want to click on join tournament, and that's basically how it's going. Now, um, you can also look. At the prize pools, this has thousand dollars in total. Uh, if you go to the prize pool, you see that the first person gets hundred dollars, the second sixty dollars, the second, the third gets forty, and yeah, that's how it keeps going. It's always getting lower and lower. But as you can see, the uh, Pojo Cup gives away a lot of money. You literally, if you're in the top thousand, you get twenty cents. I am right now. Uh, 256 which means that at the moment I'm still going to grind this tournament but at the moment I am going to receive 80 cents which is kind of decent in my opinion for uh, because yeah I have like $7.63 but let's say that you have, don't have a PayPal or you are a teenager most of you guys will be a teenager probably and you just can't take the money well no problem you also see this coins right here in the beginning I thought coins are probably nothing worth but they definitely are because if you go to this shopping cart and if you click on it we can buy coins with dollars you see um, yeah so basically this these are the prices just look at it real quick and basically what you can do with the coins is you can buy um, giveaway cards so you can uh, buy a $5,000 Fortnite V-Bucks card and that's for 
150,000 uh, of those coins. I have 15,000 right now, so we still have a long way to go. Um, but yeah, in long terms, like in months, it will actually be nice. So you can get like 5,000 V Bucks, or you can like save up your money for later. Let's say I'm like 13 right now. Let's say I save this up until I'm like 18, and then I can get PayPal, or then I may legally get this money then i can just save it up and then we already have a good amount of money uh so yeah that's basically the strategy guys um just participate to all these tournaments it's so so underrated and yeah i should definitely do it guys if you think this video was helpful please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video